Have you ever felt powerless and unsure about your future plans? Remember, a life without a purpose is like hard work without results. Get inspired in today's message by William Ngabo. Another great day, another moment of joy. My name is William. It's my humble prayer that God may meet you at your point of need today. And every time you wake up from your bed and you are able to see mountains, you are able to see birds, you are able to see people walking on the street, it's another reason for you to say, God, thank you for giving me yet another opportunity to face today and probably to face tomorrow. Today I have a very exciting message. Well, I'm not sure if it is exciting, but it's a very important message that I really want you to take heed and go through. It's a message with the title, We Give More to the Dead. Hmm. We Give More to the Dead. Let's dive into the scriptures and go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. The Bible says in the NIV translation, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with the lower. The elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Oh my goodness. In other words, there's a time when the things we see, the things we treasure, will burn and there's be nothing to be proud of because everything we consider to be precious, adorable, will be no more. Which gives me this idea of a message. Why do we spend more on the dead than on the living? Have you ever been in a situation where your neighbor dies and before he dies, he was in a great need. He needed probably 10 US dollars to buy medicine, but you never gave even five dollars. But time comes, he dies. You spend a hundred thousand to contribute towards the funeral. And even other family members and extended family, they come together, they contribute lots of money for burial ceremony. And when they do, when they construct the tomb, they make it very precious and very expensive, and yet the deceased has left children, and probably a wife or a husband, with nothing to eat and with nothing to put on. But we find it very, very precious to spend much more on the dead. Yet the dead are already gone, but the living, they need you. I have been to many countries all over the world. Being an African, I've been to Europe, I've been to Asia, I've been to America, I've been to Africa, that's where I'm born. But here in Africa, that's where we spend much more on the dead than on the living. And we feel happy to spend on the dead. When a member of your family dies, you spend thousands of dollars to, to fly from America to Africa. Yet, you never contributed a hundred dollars towards the medical bills. This is very sad. Somebody by the name of Brian Coach said, Don't send me flowers when I'm dead. If you like me, send them while I'm alive. Which is true. Don't give me flowers when I'm dead because I can't even know. But rather, Give me flowers when I'm still alive so that I can see the treasure that you are carrying for me. The Bible says there is a day when Jesus will appear like a thief. And there is a day when the things we consider to be precious will vanish. The things we consider to be precious, the things we consider to be important will vanish. The Bible says you are created to do good works. Yes, good works. And those good works should be done for the living, not for the dead. Yes, the dead have to be rest in peace. We have to contribute towards the funeral or other things, but we don't have to spend a lot on the dead and then we forget the living who still need life. God bless you. Remember this, life is a choice. Therefore, choose life today. God bless you. Love you.